Uh oh. You freeze, di. Uh. Oh, okay. seven, Jared Smith. I, I got a funny story here too about this. Scott Steiner's heat with Ric Flair. What's up, K Dog and Di? I just wanted to get you guys taking the promo Scott Steiner cut on Ric Flair on Nitro in two thousand. Also, what was the backstage reaction? All right. So uh, I'm going to give you my take first. Going, then you can tell me. Right. So I was friends with, Ste- with Steiner back back then. Okay. We sometimes we would. Uh, we if the show was near Atlanta, sometimes we would drive. Uh, I might drive with him, his brother, or something. But uh, but basically, um, uh, when Scott was doing this, when he was the completely just going and do, going into business for himself on everything, bro, people the, the office was scared to like do anything about it for for for, for real. Okay, and the bet. Well, I think he had even threatened Terry Taylor, right? Yeah, so, the, so he cut a promo flare, and we were just sitting in the back. And just like look at each other, shake our heads, like even like Luger would just like everybody be like Jesus Christ, God, he's just too much. That that so that was our reaction when he was cutting a promo on. I think he cut a promo on on Paige's wife. Yeah. Then Paige came out. They got to find it. They got but no bro, I, I, forget if, I forget if it was this promo. There was one of there was a promo that he got. And this was funny. My relationship with Scott Snyder. If you know Scott Snyder, this is the way he is. He's funny. He would be, if he was pissed about something like. If he was pissed at Flair, if he was pissed at himself, if he was pissed at anybody, he would come up to you, come up to me, and like angrily tell me, like, did you see what fucking the, 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 this, you know, did the, there? The? Like, he was like vent to anybody that listened about how pissed he was at something. Like, it's like, I wouldn't even ask. You know, so, like, yeah, so whatever, Scott. But he was, but Jeff Jarrett was like that too. If Jeff was pissed, he would come up and complain about somebody to you. Even though he had nothing to do with it, just like so, like you could hear him complain, right? Yes, yeah, so he could. So bang. after Scott did one, of, after Scott did one of these promos, I forget if I was driving. I may have been driving to the show with him or something. We were in a car, or whatever. But I, but I told him, I said, "Bro, that's too much." He goes, "Oh, he gives a fuck." Yeah, I, he goes, "I go, yeah, I go, dude, I go, dude." But you're making everybody you work with uncomfortable when you're doing these promos. I go, we're hearing it, and we all work together. I go, and you're burying a guy that we work with, and we're all listening to this and everything. And that I go, that's just not, that's not, I go, just not good, you know? And he's like, ah, fuck the, he didn't care. But I'm, I'm, I was telling him, I'm like, bro, that's not, it's not, I know the fans are listening to you, but all your coworkers can hear your promo too, and you're burying one of us publicly in front of the world, you know? And I'm like, that's not, this is not, I go, you shouldn't do that, you know? And um, he didn't care. You know, it's like he still would have to do it. But that was my, my that was my reaction. But what, what 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 was your reaction, Cutter, when you saw him cut these promos? Well, as we know, you know, they all had problems with Flair because Nash didn't like him, Hall didn't like him. I think, and you might know this better than me. I think at one time Scott was supposed to get the championship, and maybe Flair refused or Steiner, something like that. Yeah, like, so Flair, when Flair was a Booker, that's what everybody had heat with the stuff he'd done in the past. Well, the right. he the Steiner thing is that he wrestled Flair on a clash in like 90 or 91. And he was like the up and comer. He was the TV champion. Scott Steiner was. And it was like, let's see what he can do in the ring with Flair, I guess. And Scott's perspective is that Flair sandbagged him and fucked him off a lot. And Bret Hart said same things about Flair. That Flair, if he wants to make you look bad, he'll do the little things to do it. You know, and that was Scott's opinion that Flair fucked him in that match and made him look bad. Right. Well, he had, to, he, he had no. He, he had, was in an angle with him. Yeah, and he had, he had, you know, I heard him talk with Holland Nash, and since none of them liked him either, he was kind of like, fuck it, I'm going to go out there and talk for all, everybody that doesn't like him, not just me. So he didn't think he had as much heat as he probably did, you know, <laughs> and, uh, and, you know, and I just always thought Flair, even when I was, when I was in WWE as Max Moon, and I, to me, I idolized Flair. He's a very fake guy, you know, he was very fake to, in WCW, and, uh, you know, I've heard him made, you know, things that you could consider racist comments about Mexicans. So to me, I was never a real big fan of him myself, you know, but I do respect everything he's done in the business. 